y'all. Welcome to Queen Bee Foodie. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that bell. That way YouTube will notify you every single time I put out a new video. I'm back with my husband. Hey, babe. Oh, hey, babe. Woo! Thank you so much for having wow. me. We wow. back with another McDonald's. Well, not another. It's our first ever McDonald's mukbang. And uh, I must say, I'm a little disappointed in the service. I haven't been there in like years. But they definitely got my order wrong. I asked for, I saw this big, juicy, double bacon joint that I wanted to try. And um, and this, and is, it. this is what they, they gave me. A, uh, a cheeseburger with some, some bacon on bacon it. bacon slap on top of that But uh, it's okay. Moving on top of it. We got, uh, I think I got some okay. And then I asked for, okay, there you go. They got my two spicy uh, McChicken for a dollar each. <laughs> Three large fries. You got wait. What else you got, babe? Two fish fillet. I got two shark meats. And then uh, grilled chicken wraps. Yeah. That I had to wait extra chicken for. Wraps. Your boy got the fillet of shark because that's what I heard they put in there. All right. Let's eat. I'm gonna get my ketchup real quick. You can start, babe. Want to put the light on, or you think we Gucci? We're good. Okay. I'm always trying to give y'all the best viewing experience. You know. Nah, wrong one, Waffles. There you go. Okay, there you go. I don't like it, but go ahead. You don't like it? You want me to turn it off? Nah, you good. Okay. Let's eat. All right, Catch you done up. spilled all the stuff over there. I know, it was like okay. the lettuce. I need, my, I need a little thing of paper. Man, this is a throwback, y'all. I haven't had, these used to be bomb.com. I wonder if I'm at the same, like, effect. They still do the mayonnaise. Yo, like wait, wait, first we gotta pray over this. Hold on. Okay. Hold my hand now. All right. No, interlock joints. Dear God, please bless this food to nourish our bodies. It don't give us no type of uh, sickness or uh, illness. No coughs, no no runny noses, no congestions all up in the throat. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. We always pray over our food, by the way. I'm excited. I love... I show pray over this. Huh? Why? What? I was talking about for like McDonald's. I was saying McDonald's happy. Okay, so y'all, I used to you used to always get the filet o fish, and yeah. I used to always get this. So this is like a throwback. I hope it's as good as it should be. It Nothing should. don't change. Wait, is that a hair? Okay, oh, wow. A hair. Wow, right? hair. Ew! Don't eat that fry. Eat the other ones, babe. Don't no. do that. Don't eat that hair. Don't do that. That's disgusting. Eat the. You are gross. I can't with you. Okay. So, I'm not kissing him for a week. What it tastes like? You're right there. Go ahead, get planted, tripod. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was hard to swallow. It hard. tastes, uh. Potatoes? It tastes like I remember. Yeah, it shouldn't change nothing. All right, so we got the good old falafel fish. Is it good? You mm -hmm. sure are uh, yumping. They like it when I take big bites. Try and keep up with your mouth. All right, so first impressions. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You want some? No, I didn't get anything to drink because there wasn't really like a special drink out or anything. No? So Yeah, it was just like the regular sodas. So, y'all yeah, know we don't really care for soda. Like a Dr. Pepper or something? Since we're doing this, might as well go all the way out. Get a root beer or something. Mmm. I saw the day. You had a root beer float before? Mm-hmm. I remember my first time I had one. I was so excited. No, these my fries stomach. used to be my favorite. Sorry. My stomach was hurting. Mm. Hey, what? Are your favorite? Mmm. The fry is still really good. Mm -hmm. I like it. This was highly requested. Mhm. Mm Cause I'd be reading the comments, and that's what the teachers wanted. This isn't bad. I like it. Yeah. Really good. It was only a dollar too. I think everything combined was like 20 bucks, you guys. Oh? Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I think they charged me for what I asked for, but didn't give me what that sandwich was like five bucks or something. But that's not what I ordered. I had a feeling they were gonna mess it up. Cause I said 
two fish sandwiches. She said two cheeseburgers. I was like, no, no cheeseburgers, fish sandwiches. She put one fish sandwich, then asked for three large fries. She put three medium fries. And so I said, oh, <laughs> it yeah. was just a lot. You lie. also have to start. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, all right, whatever they give me, I'm gonna I'm be grateful. There you go. <laughs> there you go, that's a good attitude. Now you know, as soon as you start your order and, and they can't hear you, the first time you said, mm -hmm. nah, you might as well go somewhere else. They don't give you whatever they want. Mm-hmm. $20.23, okay. Yeah, see? Let me see. $20.23. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they didn't even put it right, but it's okay. I like what I did get, though. Okay. Really good. I taste the same. What do you think? Does it taste the same? It always do. Remember? Yeah. They've been around for like a hundred years. I know. Shout out to McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Y'all know Justin oh. Timberlake did that? Did he really? Mm-hmm. For McDonald's? Mm-hmm. Oh. That's his voice. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's your boy. You want to tell a story you always tell? Yeah. So when I was like. 12 or 13. By the way, can you tell the story a million times to everybody she knows? I had front row seats and then my dad, he worked security. Off? I don't know, my parents paid for it. Oh, my thing is. It was a, it was the Justified Strip Tour with Justin Timberlake and Christina Aguilera. How old were you? Like 13 years. And you went to a strip concert? No, that was the name of her album, Christina Aguilera. Oh. I thought JT was out it there was getting the naked. Long, it was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. Uh -huh. Well, only because I was obsessed with both of their albums at the time, so I mm -hmm. knew every single song. You know, that's when a concert is bomb. Like, every single song, you know? Yeah, it's a hit. For and, me, that was R. Kelly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. So, my dad, he worked security, too. So, he was working, he was, like, right there in the center stage. He brought us in the center. Justin really was playing, like, this song on his guitar. I forgot which one. And he pointed at me, and he threw his guitar pick. Ah! Ah! Y'all, I cried. <laughs> I cried, and I like picked up the confetti, and I had it in a Ziploc bag for forever. Like the ticket stubs, the guitar pick, and the confetti from the concert. I don't know where it's at now, but that was like my man crush. And look, before y'all judge me, yes, I married her. I still decide to marry her, and she my wife, okay? People grow, <laughs> people change, okay? Don't judge our relationship or our marriage. <laughs> you ashamed You about? cried and took the confetti. Yeah, I'm like, ah! that was so Yo, sad. let me know what was your, your first concert, your favorite concert. My first one, it wasn't a concert. Well, it was a stand-up concert. It was Cat Williams. Back... Um, Oh yeah, Cat um, Williams. And my first ever show I ever mm -hmm. went to where somebody was on stage and you know the whole nine. Mm -hmm. Back then you were either a fanatic of Backstreet Boys or In Sync, and I was an In Sync girl. Well, where you was from? I mean, just in general. In era? general, like that, like era, it was either you were Backstreet Boys or In Sync. And my sister loved Backstreet Boys, and I was like, no, it's In Sync. Was that around the time of Boys to Men and all that? I think they're after, so. Okay. I think. Okay. Was it the same time, y'all? Let, let me know. I think Bart's been around a minute. So, Cat Williams, he's your favorite comedian, right? Yep. Yeah? Cat, my dog. He met him too. You want to tell him your story? We met a lot of celebrities between us both. You met way more than yeah, me. Yeah, way more than you, yeah. But way more. I ain't going to name drop. Yeah. But no, Cat, I have a. Special place in my heart for Cat because I met him years and years ago. It was like 05, 06. He came to Baton Rouge when I lived there with my mom. Mm -hmm. That'd be 06, 07. Cause it was after Katrina. Cause my mom was in Baton Rouge living in the second house uh, right before it got tore down by another storm. I know. But, but anyway, went to do a show, presented artwork to him, went in his limo. It was me and my sister Trinice. Shout out to Trinice. Wow, I see you. And then we chopped it up. And he was super down to earth, very cool. Showed me love. Gave me a couple of dollars. 
And uh, he appreciated my work that I did for him, you know? That's amazing. First ever experience, so. <coughs> it's like when you meet someone, you like always gonna be a fan of theirs, you know? Especially if they treat you, yeah, if you have, with like, some a good respect, experience. good experience. Yeah, because he didn't have to do all that. And yeah. he was like, man. As soon as, as soon as he saw me, he already heard. And he was like, hey, you the guy that, all right, get in the limo now. And he put me and Trinice in the limo. It was me, uh, his stand-up comedian, a female. Mm -hmm. I forgot her name. She was hilarious. She's slim. And Kat we was all in the limo just chilling. Wow. And this is right after my birthday, too. Really? Because our birthday is right around the same time. Mine's the seventh. His is, I think, the eighth or ninth or something like that. Oh, wow. But yeah, it was special. So I always got love for Cat Williams. And he's the only one that makes me laugh. He's my type of comedy. Mm -hmm. He raw. He has dry humor. You said he has Eddie serious. Murphy makes you laugh too, though, right? Yeah, Eddie, he's like an OG, though. Mm -hmm. But Cat, he's the only one still doing it. Mm, you know? So, who's your favorite comedian? Let me know. Yeah, comment down below. Mm, so good. Like rock comedians. Rock. But now I was, I was cracking up laughing. That was my first time seeing him. He had me just crying laughing. I want to go to a concert with you, like a comedy show, I mean. That'd be fun. But the first real concert I went to, where I sat in the crowd, mm -hmm. was Usher with you. Really? Oh, yeah. That's my first ever concert in the crowd. Tell me you don't like concerts. I think because I was so used to being backstage and handling business, I was always about business. I didn't want to be entertained. I didn't care about all that. I wanted to go deeper than that. Where everybody fangirling like my wife, fangirl, I was back there trying to get my money. I was out there trying to get my name, out there trying to get more business. So mm -hmm. I was like focused on, you can't get lost in the sauce like, oh my God, be a groupie when you have a hustle. If you had a really, hustle, you wouldn't be like that. I really thought Kevin Hart was so funny. And he's still, you know, he has his moments. I think he still is behind closed doors. He has to be, he's definitely no more commercial. Which I totally get. I get his money, get your money. Yeah. He's the number one hustler. Yeah, it's totally fine. Um, he's good for like positivity though. Like inspiration, motivation and stuff. So. But I'll always be in the mood for that. Yeah. But I don't think Just like people tell me. Mm -hmm. When I'm like super positive, you told me that. Yeah. My Sometimes. wife be like straight up, she's like, I ain't got no time for all that positivity. Get in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, why are you gonna throw me on the book like that? Because <laughs> I know a lot of people probably feel with the way you feel. Do y'all ever have those days? Come on, I'm a human, babe. Don't be, don't do me like that, hopes. Am I like that? Uh, you ain't get quiet. I don't know, baby, you want to shut some love, some positivity to me? I ain't going to be like, nah, shut that ish up. Mm, sometimes I want to hug you and you off. You like, I have a hug. I don't want no affection. Wow. I'm just talking about words. No, I definitely won't be touched. When I'm mad, I don't want to be touched at all. You don't want to be touched either. Uh, <laughs> when you go through something, I try to come up to her. She, look, she got her, uh, her jab ready. Hey, boy, if you want to back up. Down. Mm -hmm. But we look, we destroyed it. You got this whole yeah, burrito up there. I didn't know they made burrito. No, it's a. Uh, uh, I, so I asked for a grilled chicken wrap. It ain't grilled. This the, the <laughs> crispy chicken wrap. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And I asked for uh, not the ranch one, the other one. Feel like they put the same patty and just in there. Mm -hmm. This tastes different because it's not what I usually order. But it's okay. I enjoyed the hot and spices though. I'm really good. I'm almost done with the second one. The fries, you tore up. The fry guy, you know? Yeah. I mean, now I'm gonna look up um, any comedy shows when Cat Williams coming out here next. I've been already. He didn't oh, really yeah? come out to the West. He did on South, on the East Coast. Oh. Uh -huh. In Cali. Oh. Uh -huh. Really? I looked a while ago. And then my dad, he's seen him a few times because he stayed down south. 
Okay. <clears throat> we'll look again. All right, y'all. You want to wrap this thing up or what? What you say? If that's what you want, this is your platform. This is your channel. Give me a little and bite. I, I'm just a guest featured person on there. All right, y'all. Make me the difference. Me too. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave us comments down below. What's your favorite thing to order from McDonald's? And if you would like to see us do another McDonald's walkaround, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Love you guys, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!